drive through Rutland and you might notice the Olympia Taverna sign above the Olympia Great Taverna is spinning again, meaning things are happening. As early as this weekend, Olympia will reopen at first for takeout only while they work out the wrinkles, eventually welcoming back as many as 190 guests into the newly renovated establishment after almost three and a half years. How did it possibly take so long? Oh, a little bit of everything from... COVID and then, you know, delays at the city, delays with architects, delays with procuring materials. And it just seemed to be a, uh, a domino effect. But uh, like you said, after three and a half years, most people would have given up, but we're still here. Yeah. <laughs> we trudged through it all. Right. And uh, so um, beginning uh, this weekend, um, you'll, you'll start by just doing some takeout. I take it you're kind of creeping open. Yes. Um, I mean, we don't want to shoot ourselves in the foot right off the bat. You know, it's going to be close to 190 people in the restaurant. Um, if we uh, let open up the floodgates and takeout going, uh, chances are people are going to be waiting way too long for food and it won't be the quality that they're expecting. So we're going to ease into it slowly. We're going to uh, open up our takeout, pick up and delivery this Saturday, 4 o'clock. Phones will be running and a limited menu and then you know we'll do a, maybe a couple weeks of that just to get all the uh, kinks worked out and then we'll open up the restaurant the dine-in part slowly we'll open up our lower level here and then a week of that get everybody trained up get the systems in place and then move upstairs and then and eventually you know up. when uh, when you get into the peak season and everything's uh, running on all cylinders you can have 190 people in here yes yeah, and we'll be able to handle it, no problem, with the new equipment and everybody trained the way they're supposed to be trained. Right. We'll be, we'll be there. And, and for those of us that have been around long enough to enjoy your food back, uh, uh, is it a similar menu that people got to love? Prior? It will be a similar menu. We're going to have all our favorites. I mean, we've added a few things. We've taken a few things. We've shrunk the menu down so it's one page instead of an eight-page book. So, yeah. But all of your favorites are there, and it'll be, it'll be good. Right. So um, just run through some of the features of the new uh, Taverna, what, about the layout and how things are going to be when people come back. Um, once people get in here, they'll notice it is quite a bit different, but we've kept some elements here that people were familiar with, with our high atrium sky painted, uh, painted blue with clouds. Um, you know, lots of, there'll be lots of plants, trees, um, you know, we're going to have a patio again, but this is a much nicer, larger, more useful patio. We'll be able to utilize the patio year round, heaters, heated floor, fireplace, beautiful spot with a view of the, you know, of the city, the northern part of the city. Um, our kitchen's definitely much more efficient than what it was. Uh, newer equipment and just the layout is going to be conducive to handling the um, yeah. the crowds. So yeah, there's different areas. There's the there's this area downstairs. Then you've got the patios upstairs, and then kind of a little um, lounge area near the upstairs bar. That's right. So you know, it's a small little lounge area where you can sit down on a nice, comfortable little couch chair and have conversations, some drinks with some friends, and of course, there's other dining up there we got a nice long bar overlooking the atrium yeah. looking down to the tree and being able to look outside and yeah. seeing the view sort of different parts of the place each with their own personality exactly yeah. so um how does it feel uh, for you to to finally be thinking about you know opening the doors again after all this time oh it's a relief it really is a I'm tired of all this construction stuff and the mess and everything else. So now it's going to be nice to be able to cook for everybody again. Awesome. Thanks for telling us about it, Mike. And thank you for watching Kelowna Now.